Hey guys, Yariel here, back with a game roulette. I haven't done one of these in like a year. Stay here and let's check it out. This game is Atama Chef. I'll go with campaign and just like always, I have no idea what's going on because somebody else helps me pick these or I spin a wheel depending on the day. Okay, I'm doing the basic tutorial. So three orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 500 watts. Woos, who's it? Whovilles? Use fewer than 50 ingredients. My budget is $40,000. And I can start. Hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement, helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. My plan is to fully know. My plan is to fully know. My, no. My plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. I mean, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans like us love to digest. Before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. You can move the view around. Using, uh, I am not, you don't care about this. Hold on. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers. Kindergartners everywhere will love these plain burgers. We'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients into a finished dish. Press Y sickle to view the parts list, then select the assembler. Okay. Y. Uh. Mark location. I can't see it. Where must be here? No. Nope. What are we? Aha! Great. Now highlight it and press Xy Dexy. That was Xy Dexy. Recipe to follow. Plain bargar. Okie dokie. Okay. Hmm, that burger looks good. My taste sensors, I mean taste buds, are going crazy. So the recipe says that we need one burger bun and one raw patty, which we will need to cook. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook, and transport the ingredients. Close the recipe tab by pressing look. Press Y and select the dispenser. Yeah. Press Y and select the dispenser in the parts list and place two of them in the locations I've marked. Hello. Put it in the location that you've marked. Hey, let's get another one. Uh, I put one there. Where's the other one? Where, where's my, where, 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 I'll put it. Do, 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 do. I think it wasn't right there. Okay. Now highlight the top one. Buns. Raw patty. So now we've got a source of raw patties. We will need a means of cooking them on a griddle. Okay. Do you care what direction it's in? I like that way. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belts cannot directly feed into a grill or an assembler, so we will need to use robotics to handle the transitions between these machines. Select the robotic arm dome. Ah, we need to pick up cooked patties from the grill and place them into the assembler. Robotic arms dome will pick up anything dome, 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 dome. So they will pick up a raw patty as soon as it is placed in front of them. Instead, we need to use a robotic arm smart. Ding! So that we can configure it to only pick up cooked patties. Sure. Hey. Where, where do you want it? That robotic arm, smart, isn't as intelligent as us uh, human beings. So it needs to be told exactly what ingredient to pick up. Highlight it. And press X. To open its setting and then select cooked patties. Okie dokie. Now we can make a small test run of our kitchen. Let's see how everything works out. Press doinkles to set the... That was the wrong doinkles. Uh, what? 
Press. What? Okay, it was that button right there. Now we're gonna see what happens. A boom chicka bomb bomb boom chicka boom boom chicka bomb bomb boom de boom de boom. There go our buns and there goes our meat. Making hamburgers is a tasty treat. Okay. We are making burgers and we're using power. How do we stop it? Do we keep going? Do we, what do we do? I thought I couldn't use over 50,000. All at once. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna wait. Congratulations! You helped me achieve the first step in my plan for global dominance, by which, of course, I mean dominance of the fast food market. Next, we're going to look into making our machines more efficient. Join me again when you're ready to my ready room number one. Now there's an order reader tutorial. Okay. Five orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 500 watts and use fewer than 50 ingredients. Ah, oh, you're back. I was just converting oxygen into carbon dioxide as we like to do, don't we, friend? It's time to learn about how we can make our kitchens more efficient so we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish this kitchen layout. Currently, this layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need it to produce cheeseburgers. I like cheese. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. Let's see what ingredients are needed so we know what machines to place. Plus the blah, 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 to view the recipe. This recipe requires cheese, 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 which needs to be processed into a cheese slice. Close the recipe window and I'll tell you which machines we will need. Wait, this assembler already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it, which is the maximum it can support. If we are adding cheese, we will need to transport it to the assembler on the same conveyor belts that the burger buns use. The robot arm dumb that is currently picking up the burger bun will pick up any ingredient, so we'll be able to place the cheese slice into the assembler too. Okay. Press Y and select the dispenser in the parts list and place it. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. 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 Was that? Nope. Sure. 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 Hold on. Cheese. Delicious cheese. Food processor to turn the cheese into a cheese slice. Hello? The food processor requires no additional setup. It will automatically process any ingredient that passes through it. Well, that's pretty smart. Some more advanced dishes will require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Now we just need to reconfigure the assembler. Highlight the la 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 doink 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 cheeseburger. Now, to run the kitchen and check if everything works, hit this button. has a plot will endlessly produce cheeseburgers what a waste of ingredients and more importantly electricity misuse of electrons makes me feel sad and angry ingredients are constantly being dispensed and the grill is always on even if no one has ordered a cheeseburger that cannot be allowed we can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when an order comes through select the order reader in the blah blah blah, blah. highlight the order blah no no mm -hmm. Select dual nothing. Perform action one. What? <laughs> On while order is pending. This is complicated. Great work. Now let's see what happens. Press uh, to begin. On the left, there are where? On the left, there are where? On the left, on the left, there are where? Customer orders will appear. I'll simulate some customer orders. Simulate makes me sound almost like a machine. How humorous. On the left, there are where? On the left, there are where customer... 
<laughs> ah, commas are important. Okay. All right. Okay. Just waiting. Watching. Perfect! We vastly improved the... Okay. Perfect! We vastly improved the efficiency of our kitchen. I knew you were the person for the job. I think it's time to start on our first premises. The world won't know what it's a what is about to unfold. <laughs> yes, let's open our first restaurant then, shall we? And the music just stops. And then it's back. First taste. Deliver ten meals. Keep electricity uses under five hundred watts and use fewer than forty ingredients. Ten orders have to be fulfilled. <laughs> The time has come. The reign of mankind's hunger is about to end. Here is our first kitchen. It's empty now, but think of the potential. Here's the plan. We scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens and serving more complex meals. As our technology improves, we gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, becoming a popular choice. Then, when everyone is eating our food, well, you have to wait. Let's start simple. Offering a cheeseburger and a plain burger. After all, we know we can easily produce these. Now, we just need to test them on the public and make sure they taste as satisfactory as they look. It's gonna make me start over. Give me a moment to place some items. Like, I didn't pay that much attention. Sure. Okay. Um. I don't think I did it right, because I don't remember where the cheese comes from, but here we go. Let's see if it works. I might have needed another line of conveyor belts over there, but we'll find out. Yes, we will. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Uh, we have no orders. Oh, he's thinking about a cheeseburger. He wants a cheeseburger. He's hungry. He starts, oh, they're thinking about a cheeseburger, too. Everybody thinking about a cheeseburger. Everybody wants a cheeseburger. Hey, buddy. We want, we want a, a plain burger. I think my cheeseburgers are going to come out raw because I, I messed up. Yeah, I think I messed up. I think I broke it. Okay. Stop. In the name of love, I broke it. Sorry, we are now closed for maintenance. Okay. I moved some stuff. We're going to give it a try. I wish I didn't have to wait so long for an order. I'm tangled up in my controller. This is, I mean, it's interesting. Not the kind of thing I usually play, but that's what game roulettes are all about, right? I get to try new things that I normally wouldn't try. Now, all these people want hamburgers and cheeseburgers, so have a seat, have a water. Would you like some iced tea? Okay, we got an order. What's happening? Is anything happening? Hey. <laughs> I, I forgot about the robotic arms. Hold on, all you people. I know you want burgers, but I, I suck. I gotta figure this out. Try number three. See if anything happens now. Why isn't it going into the assembler thingy at the end? What did I do wrong? They're just sitting there. Oh my gosh. This is harder than it looks. I need way more room. Okay. Okay, I think I'm smarter than a fifth grader, and I think I've got it this time. Let's wait for our first order to come in, ladies and germs. Word's gonna get around. People just aren't gonna come here anymore. We've opened and closed like four times already. Come on, people. Give us one or two or three or four or five more chances. Everybody walking by. Nobody wants to give us another shot because we suck. You! You look like you want a burger. You human from above, you want a burger, yeah, you both want burgers. Come on, burger machine, work this time. Just like, where's the test run button so I don't have to wait for people to get a hankering for a cheeseburger? What are we waiting on? What are we waiting for? Why are you not assembling? You've got ingredients. You've got cheese and buns, but no meat. Why, 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 why you do not have meat? The meat is sitting there. Why the meat is not going in? Why are no meat going in? Why no meat go in? 
Why, 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 why stacking meat? Why? Why? <laughs> why stacking meat? Why you mad, bro? Okay. My patties aren't getting cooked enough. Okay, I'm only testing the cheeseburger side. I changed the smart over here so that he'll only pick up a cooked patty. Cook it. All the way. Okay. Will we get a cheeseburger out of this deal? Hey, we got a cheeseburger. Now we just have to fix the hamburger side. Okay. I think I got it. This is making me look like I are not smart. I are not smart. Come on, plain burger. Got the jazz hands. You can do it. Okay, all right, all right. What are we getting? We got a plain burger. We got a cheeseburger. I think I did it, folks. Barely under budget. Ten orders. How many orders fulfilled? Two. Okay, now if I just don't run out of ingredient room because I know the cheese is coming out too fast. And, uh, again, this is why we have game roulette. So I would play a game that I would never, ever, ever in a million years pick on my own. I think I did it. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! She can be taught. Oh, come on. Tenth ingredient. Ding! I was... I used 498 of 500 energy. It was so close. I spent $49,250 in 499 watts of 500. Um, I'm gonna continue. Sure, I'll save my kitchen layout. Sure. <laughs> sure, I'll save it. Okay, I, I, I saved it. But I'm, I'm done. I don't think I even said what the name of the game was. What's the name of the, like, hold on. Atoma Chef. We were playing Atoma Chef today on Game Roulette. I forgot to say that at the beginning because I'm so smart. I haven't done one of these in like over a year at least. Like I think pre-COVID, uh, pre-Voldemort. Mm, don't ban me, YouTube. Okay. That's it for this game roulette. I was glad I could share that with you guys. I, I will do another one soon. I'm trying to get back into these now that my kids are older and I have more time. I need to shut up though because people don't like it when I babble. At least that's what they tell me. I will see you when I see you. Bye bye. I found a map with nothing on it. I don't like you, Barry. You're scary. You're a scary Barry. <laughs> in my room or am I in the woods?